She stood alongside the two-lane road for an hour, but only a single truck passed and didn't even stop. Two cars had come down the gravel road from the party leaving. When she saw the headlights from them, she laid down in the dirt behind the sagebrush and waited until they were gone. Just after four o'clock in the morning, a tractor trailer passed and saw her and slowed and pulled over. She ran towards the cab as fast as she could and without hesitation got in, sat in the passenger seat and shut the door. I ain't supposed to have riders, the old man, was the driver said to her. I could get fired for it, but I guess I ain't about ready to let a girl sit out in the middle of the desert alone. My wife, she'd have my hide if I did that. He was smoking a cigarette as he spoke, his face lit only by the dim dashboard lights. She guessed he was in his 60s. He was a big man who was overweight. The radio was playing and he was dressed in a white, short-sleeved western shirt and black jeans. He was balding and wore glasses with half-inch thick lenses and steel rims. You all right, he asked her. Thanks for picking me up, the girl said. My name is T.J. Watson. You can call me Tom if you want. What's your name, he said and looked in the side mirror with the truck in a second and started them back on the road. Allison Johnson, the girl said. If you don't mind me asking, Allison, what in the hell are you doing all the way out here? 